No, no common thing. Teams do what they do, and a lot of guys, a lot of people do things differently uh, based on their scheme. So no, not, not any similarities per se. I mean, it's only so many defenses in the country you can play at any level of football. So. Is a man or zone oriented. Is everything okay with Carlin fills me and Bird? Didn't see either one of those guys yeah. touch the ball. Well, Carlin was a little, Carlin was a little nicked up, a little banged up here uh, towards the end of the week, uh, and, and Bird's, you know, progressing and, and doing some of the things we need him to do, you know, as a whole to put himself in better situations to play and, and be have more of a role. Will we see more Ty Chandler and what does Jakob Johnson returning mean for your offense? Uh, it's, it's big to have you know healthy bodies being added back and, and, and quality depth being added back to the offense. So yeah, you know you'll see Jakob uh, even rolling back into there, you know, getting more comfortable, get through this week of practice, see how he feels and get him going in the games. Yeah. Is this the deepest deepest defense you've ever gone against? Um, besides uh, Georgia? <laughs> uh, probably, uh, probably uh, the deepest, you know, there, there's just, you know, we know it's, it's Alabama. Is it similar? Is it is it similar to Georgia? Because Kirby with the, you know, resume from Alabama yeah, is very similar. Yeah, you know, a lot, a lot of similarities. Uh, some different players in different positions, but a lot of similarities structurally. Coach, what do you need to, I mean, what, what's going on with receiver? How can those guys get better, get, you know, make, make some big plays? Is it just as simple as beating press coverage? Is it, is it playing with a young quarterback? It really comes down to just some, simple as finishing plays, you know, have, have an opportunity to finish the play, the ball's there, the play's there, finish it. Um, and at the end of the day, there's not a whole lot uh, you can do at that point but finish. And so, you know, you can talk about it and emphasize it and, and you know, point it out and, and help them understand how important it is to, you know, to finish and, you know, putting those plays, you know, in practice situations at the top of the route and finishing the catch and those type of things. But um, it's basically what it comes down to. What was your evaluation of the, the red zone situations? Was it kind of a common theme throughout that? Well, we, we got to score touchdowns. Uh, you know, you can't do things to shoot yourself in the foot. can't take, you know, false start penalties and, and do things like that. It's already hard enough in that area with a fill strength and those type of things to, to score touchdowns. And so you got to do everything within your, you know, things you control. You got to do well. And we can't do things that, um, you know, hurt us. And kind of hand in hand with that, Coach Jones didn't exactly slam the door on maybe reshuffling the offensive line again this week when you're still doing that seven games into the season. You know, just how challenging is that for your offense? That's always a challenge, you know, when you're shuffling up front. And, uh, but that is what it is, and that's where we are. And you coach them all the same. You, you know, they work hard. They, you know, they, they want to do well, and we're just going to keep, you know, doing what we have to do each and every week to put us in the best uh, possible situation to have success. Coach Jones kept emphasizing the need for big plays. 